Let's get to it. Honestly, uh, this this is an interesting match. I feel like this is definitely this is definitely even, but it's just a matter of uh, I feel like it's definitely one of those player matchups as well. Who kind of comes out on top and penetrates through the other's defense? Because Lucina, she really wants to play with those disjoints in mind against Snake, and she, luckily for her, she's not much of a combo character, but she does have a sword. She does want to press a button on your good old shield, but you always have to be mindful of that spacing oh, and be mindful nice of your parry. approach options. Mm -hmm. Nice pair with, with that up to, and again, that up to off to take that first stock to like him off to a pretty dang nice start. And yo, like him uh, themselves, a really dang nice snake. Also PR uh, out here uh, up, up in Westchester, if I am a second. Uh, Ooh, catching a bit of the grenade as well. Man, oh man. And try to lob it right on back. The John Mark unable to kind of get cooking right now because, you know, the moment where Lucina really shines in this matchup is when she is able to kind of just get this jungle game started going against Snake, able to get these edge guards as well. But here we try, try and see a Lion Kim trying to get the read on the roll, but the John here just trying to still just get inside of the Lion Kim's pressure, but to no avail, you're kind of finding yourself dodging to the fire of the flames here at the ledge. Oh man, oh man, things are looking pretty dang, dang rough for uh, the John Mark. Alright, guess the full day. Oh wait, hold up, we might see a, a slight bit of juggles. Oh nope. Yep. Oh, the slide off. Like Unable it. to get it, but no, oh, the mistake too. Hey, and, and at least at least we're taking that, but oh man. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Like this is snake. Get, giving the Jean Mark a, a, a four tilt right to the base. Yep, that's one up there. Okay. That's two up there on the board. Can we get a third one? And all, all, all those things that, that, that I came on just setting up is like, yep, it's going to just be making uh, Dijon Mark probably have a bit of a rough time just just get to, to just get in on, on Lycan right here. Yeah, the, we haven't really seen an answer for Dijon out here currently. He still right. hasn't been able to get a lot of these trades and Lycan has been answered to, has been just kind of just shutting down, camping and bunkering down and able to oh, keep up aggressive style as well, but Dodge to the C4. Jesus Christ. I, I, I think I even just, just like peeped the lag him. Just go, go right up to, to John Mark and just set that right up on him. And oh man, there's another up to, to take that very last stock. Yeah, definitely going up to John being like, hey, yo, brother, check this out. Boosh. My, my Tim, the Tim kick, bro. You got to hold that. Good God. But hey, very nice start by a lag him right there. And... Honestly, I, I believe we're out to Battlefield for the game too. Battlefield. Honestly, I I really used to be like, yo, this is a pretty good this is a pretty good stage. This is generally a pretty good stage for Lucina. But as I've been seeing from the Westchester Snakes, that I honestly never want to take this character to Battlefield. I really never want to take this character to Battlefield, and I will tell you why. I will tell you why. All right, why is that? A lot of Snake's game plan, which really shines on the stage, is the ability to kind of maneuver around a lot of these platforms and play his kind of turtly, campy defensive style as well. We already know a lot of these Westchester players, they do love to go on with the scrap as well, and you can see the conversions playing off really well on the platforms as well, but we'll be seeing that movement kind of go around shortly, and... Uh, that C4 as well. Another thing that you're always gonna have to be careful and just be able to just watch out for. Uh, man, oh man. But, but yeah, that, that, that C4 uh, at the very top platform. Oh man, I like him catching the John Mark uh, slipping with, with another up tilt. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah they, they, they've been kind of on point with them. It right, is such right. a repeat from the last game as well. He was able to take that first stock at 30 minutes, and still the John quickly just. Having to struggle and scramble to find an answer, but you can see Eliakim playing with some crazy momentum right now. And you can see him reading the roll on out, was able to get it every time. He wasn't able to get quite that one. But if we see that situation play out again, we will definitely know who's going to be triumphant. Oh, oh my god! Wait, hold up. Oh, 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 <laughs> he thought he got sticky. Yo, he thought he was going to sticky. Yo, for, for a second. Alright, run it back. I, yo, for a second, I, I thought Eliakim just had uh, the, the C4 right, right on the John Mark. So, so I thought either way the John Mark might, uh, might have been screwed, but no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me. Playing on oh, the back oh, foot here. Hi. The John Mark getting cooked up by the grenades along with Eliakim. You can see Eliakim. Oh, baiting out that Meaning? soft dodge with the, the good John old Mark jab, got bro. Some, got some solid damage. Uh, thanks to those grenades. Like, 
like got, got two fairs and, and the grenade damage off of, uh, off on of the him. I believe that jab is like minus seven on shield. It's a pretty good option to see what your opponent is going to choose, how they will react out of shield, because they can just immediately bust out that up tilt and just try to cover all your options coming out now. And you can see Alarikim really wanting to put an end to his set, but trying to take this aggressive with the lingering back air. We're in a bit of a scramble situation. Alarikim probably get, getting a little bit too greedy with, with um, the, the forward tilt. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, jump. Even, try, even tried a bit of another one right there. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, almost getting the conversion as well, but there's a lay down. Ah, and Oost the read nice didn't even need to look. Oh. Christ. Was like, I see you. <laughs> 